What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Eldrazi Tron and we got a keeper hand right there. We are definitely keeping that. Uh, before that, real quick, I just got one thing to say. So I had a comment in one of my previous videos saying I should drop my hat. There you go. Hat dropped. <laughs> All right, let's get into this game. So, yep, we got Tron plus Inbringer or Walking Ballista with a Dismember. It's a, oh, and, well, this is going to be interesting. Is this Green Tron or another Eldrazi Tron deck? We shall find out. If it's Green Tron, we're actually a little on the uh, downside here. It's going to be tricky to beat. Not impossible, but definitely we're going to be looking for a Congrate Creator. There we go. All right. We'll start off with, I want to mirror them, but I, uh, Power Plant's a better play. So we'll go Power Plant, Expedition, that marginal, but we, you know, we could always draw into mine. And, yep. So do they have a second Tron land? They do. All right. Same two Tron lands we had. This is looking very much like Green Tron. And if they have Karn, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. I would not mind a backup Tron land here. Nope, no backup Tron land. But we will get a tower out and pass turn. They have the mine. It's going to matter what they have to play. Is this Karn? It's Karn. Yep. So in this instance, I'm going to grab Eldrazi Temple. Uh, we are definitely playing down there, Green Tron. What we're going to do is run out the Walking Ballista on one. Remove one so he can't ping us again. And hope he doesn't have another Karn. I think we've probably lost this game, though. This is going to be a hard recovery. He's going to do that. We're going to give him... Yeah, probably a dismember. That's 10 mana. That's scary. If this is Ulamog, we're just done for. This really came down to a uh, who played first as well. Had I gotten Congrate Creator out, um, he would have been the one uh, behind. But that's just some, how these games go sometimes. Oh, yeah, if you... Oh, yep. That's troublesome. That's probably going to be the end of the game. As you might hear, I got a little more noisy in my... Or a little more noise in my background. I'm not shooting at my usual location, but... Eh, I was trying to get a game out for tonight. I combined the last two. Oh, and Snaring Bridge. Interesting. I don't think I'm out just yet with that, but I am very far behind. The fact that I can't activate artifacts is not going to be good. Yep. We may as well just see if we can do anything here. The fact he shut himself down with Concrete Creator is interesting. Although he didn't end yeah, Staring Bridge, it does. Yeah, we're probably dead. 
If I could get my own card and great creator out, it'd be a little different, but we'll just see what's in his hand. He pretty much played out in anything we'd really care about. Yep, with two Ugans. Now I'm going to go ahead and concede this. It's unlikely. He's going to start eating our lands with that. Uh, he can pretty much start eating our lands with two effects. Yep, and we weren't getting another land anytime soon. So what do we pull out here is the question. We really don't have much that yeah, interacts. Uh, Chalice is good. I guess we'll bring in the Emrakul just to get the... I guess the Ugans are still okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll pull out a Dismember. They don't really have much way in, uh, in this... Uh, Warping Whale, maybe not the worst. This is tricky. Yep, we'll give that a try. Definitely to, on the play, and we have Power Plant, Ghost Quarter, Snapping of Souls, Big Eldrazi, but nothing really else. Uh, can we count on the Ghost Quarter to buy us time? Not really. Owl Mulligan. Another one lander, that's not good for us. Eldrazi Temple, things to play. I think that's going to be a keep. Um, we're going to pitch. Ooh, Matter Shaper. Or land. That's tricky. We're going to go for the land. Uh, start off with a power plant. Our next move will be dependent on what he does here. Probably going to be Chalice on one. Yep. There's a chromatic sphere. Well, no, I wish I had that land. But we still have plays, so we'll run this out for one. At least limit his options. He kept a seven, so this is probably going to be a Sylvan Scry in here. Could draw the ghost quarter, that would not be bad. If he had ancient stirrings, then we're decent. Nope, it's looking like he has seven scrying. Yep, he kept two sevens in a row. We're, we're not in good shape here. Second Urza's Tower. All right, we're definitely not in good shape there. That means he already has Tron in hand, and he's setting up for an Ulamog. And we don't have another land, so we're stuck with this as our main play. That's unfortunate. Should have kept the land. Yep, there's Tron. Does he have anything to do with it? He does. That's probably a game. If he has if he has Ulamog in hand, we're dead. On land. Yep, regretting not keeping that land.
But this is probably going to be Ulamog, and there's just, we're dead at that point. Yep, there's, we're about to lose pretty much our entire board state here. He's probably going to take the two lands and use the Karn. He'll probably just plus the Karn, honestly, but uh, he may ch choose. I mean, we really don't have an answer for this. We'll let him get the kill here. Yep, he is going to take something out of my hand. Um, I, I'm so tempted. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to let him get the kill, but dang, I am not getting any interaction here. A land would have saved me. Um, and had I kept that land initially, um, I would have still be, con still would have been contending with the Karn, but I would have been able to answer the Ulamog with the Thanat Seer. So, yep. I did think he would be a little quicker though in killing me. I mean, there's not really much I can do. Well, I was gonna let him kill me, but if he's gonna be slow about it, we're just gonna end the game. All right. Well, thank you for watching. This is Tectonic Edge signing out.